Um, I want to cut through the ratings slide of the NFL with you in quick manner because you wrote about it Monday, and now the numbers have come out from over the weekend, Peter, and NBC is down 16%, Fox is down 9%, NFL uh, is down 18% year-to-year on ESPN. We could say it was Trump. We could say that it was a whole bunch of things. So let me just run through these items and give me a quick thumbnail if you believe this is part of it. The Red Zone channel, do you believe that's part of the reason why ratings are down across the board in the NFL? Well, the NFL is trying to figure out how to rating eyes the red zone channel because a lot of people watch the red zone channel indeed when i'm home most often uh on a sunday that is what i will watch because you can see everything um but i believe that's a factor the thing is though it hasn't really changed since last year right so why would there be this colossal decline when I would assume the same people who watched the Red Zone channel last year are watching it again this year. Okay, player safety. Do you believe that's part of the reason? I do think that that's it. I think that uh, youth football numbers are down, um, although flag football is not down, but Mm -hmm. youth football numbers tackle football, um, you know, at a very young age, those are down. And I think there are some parents, uh, because of the movie Concussion, because of A lot of uh, things about the dangers of football are down. Uh, You know what is so bizarre to me, though, honestly, about this, Brad? Every time there's a big MMA show, Mm -hmm. uh, people get so excited about that. And I've not read one story or heard one thing from anybody in the media that says, hey, MMA might be dangerous long term for the participants, for their long term brain health. Um, aren't people kicking each other in the head yeah. and aren't people beating each other in the head? Uh, I, I, uh, and again, that's independent of anything about football because football obviously is dangerous as well. A lack of star power. Now with Tom Brady coming back, suddenly that'll be a shot in the arm for the league. Do you buy into that part? Well, I asked Brian Rolop, the uh, uh, EVP of media for the NFL on Friday about that. And, you know, obviously there's no, uh, there's no uh, specific way to actually measure that. But I have to believe that Peyton Manning, who was one of the biggest draws in all of football for years, him being gone and Brady gone for the first four weeks of the year, and he comes back in week five to play a regional game that's not on in many markets in Cleveland. And the game is not a game after the first half hour. So uh, I think that we're going to find out at the end of the day that that's a factor, yes. Okay, two other items that have been brought up. Uh, The election with Trump and Hillary. That's by far the biggest one. I mean, I I had a chart in my column on Monday in which I looked at every election year, you know, basically in the last two decades. And every single year uh, in those election years, going back 2012, 2008, 2004, 2000, every one of those election years, the NFL ratings are down from the previous year. Now, they're not down as much as this year is, but keep in mind, Mm -hmm. the numbers of this year are inclusive of a period where uh, Thursday and Monday nights particularly, and then this past Sunday night for NBC, because it went head-to-head with uh, probably the most hotly contested debate in, honestly, in presidential debate history of of our lifetime. Uh, So uh, keep in mind, this is not for the full year that they're down that much. This is only for, you know, as I wrote, the first four weeks. And so everything I think is going to change, you know, starting around Thanksgiving. Election will be over, and then we're going to see if indeed all the people who have left watching the NFL, the 15% or whatever it is that they're down, if all those people come back, or do they stay away? One last item that's been brought up, and that is player conduct. Colin Kaepernick, off the field stuff in the last few years, that there was a tipping point, doesn't matter if it's Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson, move it forward to where we are today. Do you buy into that too? I think 
I don't buy into the Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson, Greg Hardy stuff because that's existed forever. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe not uh, as notable and as widely discussed, but players have been doing bad things ever in the 32 years I've covered the NFL. But I do believe that without any question, um, there is a sense among some people the the Colin Kaepernick thing, the national anthem movement, has really enraged some people. Um, how many of those people aren't watching? I get tweets all the time. Man, you're underestimating this anthem thing. I'm not watching football. Well, I don't know. Is that 50 people on my Twitter mentions? Sure. Or is it is it 500,000 people around the country? I don't know. Um, and the other thing is, Brad, I'm always hesitant if somebody says, hey, I'm not watching it because of this. Uh, I'm a big Packers fan. I'm a, so the Packers play the Cowboys this weekend, and you're not going to watch the game because, uh, because of some guy on another team kneels during the anthem. And again, it could be that you're not going to watch the game, but I've got to believe that a diehard Packers fan is going to watch the game in that case.